Hi, this is Claire Willis from Chicago Kent College of Law Library, and I'm going to talk about finding statutes electronically. In this section, you should learn how to locate statutes when you have a citation or a popular name. As we'll discuss later, popular names are the names by which laws are commonly known, things like Americans with Disabilities Act or Obamacare how to find statutes on a particular topic. And finally, you will learn about two reliable free sources of statutes and legislative information, LII, the Legal Information Institute, and Congress.gov. Let's start by retrieving a statute by citation. I'm here in Lexis Advance, but this process is the same on Lexis Westlaw and Bloomberg. I'm looking for 42, United States Code 12181. When I pull this up on Lexis, I see the statute itself. A couple important things to note. The history note will tell you what the original public law number was, when it was passed, and then most importantly, it gives you case notes. They, these are cases that cite your particular statute for an important area of law. Um, so here we see uh, cases that all have to do with the public accommodation. These are not necessarily all the cases that cite your statute, but these are the ones that are chosen by the editors as being especially important for different areas of law. So that's how you find the case by citation. Now let's look at finding a statute by popular name. As I mentioned earlier, popular names for statutes are the names by which ordinary people would call a statute. They might say Americans with Disabilities Act, Patriot Act, something like that. So I want to show you the popular name table because it can bring you to the statute and it can also bring you to some other information. Then I'll show you some other statutory research tools. I'm here on Westlaw now, so I'm looking for United States Code Annotated Popular Name Table. It autofills that for me when I type popular. So I can go through the alphabet or I can just type it in the search myself. I want to say Americans with Disabilities Act. Now some of you are probably saying, yeah, well it's right there. If I click on that, that little drop down menu, it actually takes me to a secondary source called the Americans with Disabilities Act. I want to run a search instead. Americans with Disabilities Act, and there is my result. It lets me know what the public law number is. It lets me know where the sections of the public law wound up in the US code because it is a pretty huge piece of legislation. So I'm going to go into the first section here and show you some other statutory research tools. So one thing to note is that you can go section by section using these green arrows. So here we define disability right after Congress announces its finding and purpose. Another thing is this pull up, is this pop out table of contents. And I should note that Lexis has something similar. This is not unique to Westlaw. So this lets me know in what kind of context I am here. I'm in the very beginning with findings and purpose, defining disability, but let's say that I'm only really concerned about public accommodations. I can skip through all of these different areas and just go into ch subchapter three on public accommodations. This takes me to another section of the table of contents and I can go right to the definitions or I can go to the pre prohibition of discrimination by public accommodations. Look at that statute. Now earlier when we saw the case notes on Lexis, the corollary on Westlaw is the notes of decisions. And I could see cases that were pulled out as having to do with particular public accommodations. Now let's take another look at searching for statutes by topic. So I'm here on Lexis Advance again, but the same uh, principles apply on Westlaw. And the one option here is to search everything, and that is certainly a popular option. I'm not as big of a fan of that. Uh, then you can do some filtering afterwards. I'm kind of a filter beforehand kind of researcher, especially because I don't like 
searching through extraneous search results or even really having to look at them. So I'm going to go to Federal first and then USCS, it's the United States code on Lexus. So I'm going to search here. I'm going to do a terms and connectors research here. I'm going to say disability. And this with the root expander will allow me to search for disability, disabilities. I'll say within paragraph of discriminate. So this will find discriminate and discrimination. And, and I'll put in quote public accommodation. And I'm putting public accommodation in quotes because that's a term of art and you can expect it to find it together just like that. Now what am I retrieving here? This search result is not great. This one turns out to be good. And I find a prohibition of discrimination by public accommodations and here's the rule. Now, what if I don't know that term of art? What if I don't know about public accommodation? I don't necessarily know about the Americans with Disabilities Act. What if I'm truly just searching for those terms of art and everything else? This is where secondary sources really come in. And my favorite tool to find a secondary source is the Georgetown Treatise Finder. So I'm just going to Google Georgetown Treatise Finder. And what this is, it's a tool from the Georgetown Law Library that essentially seeks to answer the question, is there a treatise on X? And furthermore, which one is the leading treatise? So I see disability law treatises here. And it gives me some print resources and also electronic resources. So I see one here called Disabilities in the Law. And that W tells me it's on Westlaw. So long as I am logged into Westlaw, which of course I'm not right now, it will um, bring me right into the treatise itself. So I can read the introductory material about elementary school employment. And when I get to public accommodations, it can tell me the definition of, a, of public accommodations. And that would ultimately bring me to the statute. So that brings me to that definition section that I saw before. And then this one brings me here to the actual prohibition of discrimination. So that's how you can use a secondary source to find a statute by topic. The final thing that I'll show you are some free sources of statutes and legislative information. This is congress.gov. It is a source especially for recent legislation. I'm going to click on something here in the most viewed bills to give you a taste of what information is here. Here I can find the bill's sponsor. I can find actions that has been taken on a bill, amendments, co-sponsors, and the committees to which it has been assigned. Uh, this can be especially helpful when you're doing legislative history research. Another very popular resource is the Legal Information Institute. Um, this is a source of free legal information online. It is out of Cornell's Law School, which is the reason why it has this somewhat strange URL, law.cornell.edu. I never remember that, so I always Google LII every time that I use it, and it is yet to fail me. So you can get at the U.S. code from here on the Legal Information Institute. There is also the CFR on here and other things as well. Oftentimes when you do a Google search for a, for a statute, this is the result that it brings up is from the Legal Information Institute. So um, when you do Google for statutes and it brings you here, know that you can pretty much trust this resource. Again, my name is Claire Willis and I'm with the Chicago Kent College of Law Library.